Founded in 2008, the Tommy Franks Leadership Institute and Museum was created essentially from General Franks and Mrs. Franks' desire to create a historic foundation. They wanted to invest in the next generation of leaders. The Leadership Institute, really, we have uh, three different programs that we do. It's all about education. And uh, the two oldest programs that we have that we've been running the longest is our four-star leadership camp, which brings together 50 of the best and the brightest from across the nation and some other countries. General Franks, in fact, recently spoke with 50 four-star students. They represented 30 states and four countries. The Leadership Institute also has a roadshow classroom as well as the Inspired Leadership Program. And Inspired Leadership was developed in conjunction and partnership with Cameron University. It shares General Franks' four stars of leadership, character, communication, common vision, and caring. And the idea behind it is, is we uh, do workshops, seminars, and keynote presentations with uh, uh, current leaders and future leaders and really educate them on the General Franks' four stars of leader, leadership. The actual museum is set up chronologically as it documents General Franks' life, but there's more to it than that. Our goal is to tell the history of the United States military through the lens of individual soldiers. One of those soldiers is General Franks. Um, and of course it has a lot of artifacts and memorabilia from throughout his life from uh, the jukebox and the scooter that he rode when he was in Midland growing up uh, uh, around to uh, a, a traveling exhibit room which changes on a regular basis throughout the year. There are several unique items, one of which is this recent addition. It's an artillery fired atomic projectile and is only one of four that is known to exist. This is also one of only two museums in the state that have an actual Medal of Honor on display. And what visitors are drawn to at the museum really depends on perspective. We have a lot of military visitors that come through. Uh, those who served in Vietnam, of course, are drawn to the Vietnam section. Those who served in Korea to the Korean section. Um, but I think that as you go through and you really look at uh, uh, the artifacts, what you really see is a dynamic transition in how our American military has changed from World War II to the present uh, to really become a surgical attack force that is able to uh, uh, meet any challenge in any part of the world at a moment's notice. When first walking into the museum, you see the awards room. It's a collection of citations and awards that General Franks has received throughout his prestigious career. And uh, I, I will never forget the first time that I walked into that room with General Franks. And, and he just, he looked at me and he said, now I understand what this room is. This room is the awards that my men earned me. And, and I think that that was a very powerful statement. A powerful statement from an extraordinary leader. And the museum itself, well, it's simply outstanding. Most people are amazed because you come out to Hobart and uh, you do not expect to see a world-class facility like we have here in Hobart. It really is. It's, a, it's a, a unique gem here in southwest Oklahoma and I've yet to meet a single person who's walked through here and was disappointed uh, by their visit. Everyone was surprised by just how effectively uh, the museum really communicates the history of the American military.